Okay, so we're playing against Water Flame. I have played with him quite a bit. We are playing the Taimon of Sicilian Defense. This is interesting. We are playing d5. And now we have two center pawns that are going all the way up the board. This is nice. These uh, pawns are restricting his knight. They can he cannot go to the central squares because of the pawns. Now he's coming here and attacking this. So we are uh, removing this. Mm. Let's activate the rook. Mm, probably should have played a6 earlier, but we have the center majority, so it will be fine for us. Any moment we can move this knight here or here and trade off the bishop. Mm, this rook is a bit passive. Mm. Do we want to move him here? Let's move him like this. And then we are putting the bishop um, on b7, maybe. To have this, and then we push with this. And now he's attacking the rook. So we go back. I'm fine with moving the rook back and forth. So now we come up here and then to here. No, but he will take with the knight. It is fine. Ah, oh, queen. Now he's coming back. Uh, where is he going? He just opened up for the queen to come in. I think. Yeah, or maybe he's bringing the bishop. We will attack this. Uh, Pawn mm, Queen B six. We want to exchange this uh, bishop with this uh, bishop D six. Exchange the bishop. Mm, of course, where are we putting this? Knight. Of course, we're putting him here. Where does he go from there? Does he go here? No, because then we will have double pawns. Mm. Okay, this is fine. And then the bishop is going on here. We exchange all of the bishops. And now we come back over to here, we guard the squares where knight can go, and then we attack with the bishop. Knight is not pinned, the queen is defending the bishop, but uh, it is uh, useful. We can see if uh, knight is, uh, bishop is coming here, knight here, uh, rook here. Knight is trapped, so he cannot do that. He cannot uh, if he just makes any move, like c3. Uh, bishop a6 is getting rid of uh, the bad bishop, and now a6 get the knight out and. We are coming to uh, nice squares on the queen side and get the rooks into the game. We'll probably keep this one to protect the pawn. Maybe come up here. Um, knight. I don't know what he's doing with this. Uh, this one is defended several times, so I don't think he will be able to uh, do anything with that. And now this is opening the diagonal. 
He is stopping us to come here, but not here. So we are attacking the night. Attacking the night, and then we can play e5. And our knight is very well placed in the center. And he has isolated pawn. Rook c8 and activate the king. And now he's coming. We are coming here and he is there not there's nothing on the seventh rank. He is coming here. Um here, here. It is safe. However, if we come here, he goes here, 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 and um, what to do? Here, 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 here. I think this activate the king. You must get the king in endgame. Activating the king. Uh, we don't want to push this pawn any further. Mm, we have control of the file. So he cannot get in anywhere here. Uh, so we will just continue on and uh, maybe he has... Uh, something here. Maybe we should have gone up here first. Oh, he is allowing us to move this way. Now, black is winning. Black is winning. Black is uh, winning. We attack the pawns, and if the pawn comes, we come here and we win a pawn. And black rook has the C file, and this rook have uh, nothing. And now the rook is coming in here. We sit this piece here. He is fine. We must try to. If the piece comes, uh, king comes down here. Ah, uh, he's coming over here. So now there's no point of going to the seventh rank. His king's already down there. So we just here, here, here. Here, 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 and I think it is okay. We must stop him from coming in any further. But we are uh, a pawn ahead. So this is past pawn in the Taiman of Sicilian you get or the French Sicilian when you exchange this pawn usually you're going to get the center majority as you can see black already has the center pawns now the king is coming in he wants to open up um, a file but he has just lost a second pawn now, do we take? Um, no, then he comes here, here, here. No, I think we can just take the pawn. 
uh, here, here is not, so we come here. At any moment, this. Oh, interesting. Well, we can just come here, and now King is coming back, and then this is coming. So we are either taking or pushing. Uh, do we take then gives past one? Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, we take um, this. Uh, he is okay, then we can win this pawn. Uh, any moment this pawn can be uh, lost for white. This is, I think, white's only chance. Um, now, do we come here? Yeah, we come here. And now, here. And let's see. Here we can come here and then the pawn like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he's coming down here. We take this and now. Black is still a pawn up. Now, if Black tries to uh, take this pawn, which is another past pawn, we have all kinds of past pawns. This is White's only past pawn. So we protect the past pawn, and now he is getting this pawn. So now we have to rush with this one. So now we've got to come quick and get around. We have three spaces to go. We just put the rook. Uh, we have to get this play if mess if we must. We take the rook and we have uh, yes, we can uh, take this pawn. Okay, so now we are winning the pawn and Black cannot, uh, white cannot check us. So we have this, and now this pawn is going to be lost. We have this, and now our king is coming up, and black is winning. Black will win this game. Good game. Uh, hold on. While I get the video ready. Alright, so that was a good game. I'll be uploading this. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.